Hello and welcome kids. I'm Dr. Abstract. I'm going to show you how you can make a scene at kids.zimjazz.org. So we come on down here and look, we can make scenes with images. So we call these things assets and you can go to slate here or hit the image here. Boop. And this is where we can type our own code, whatever we want and see what happens. You may have started with a demo like this. Hey there, Pragma. Uh, if you clear your demo, clear, yes. And now we want to make our own scene. And there's places that you can go up here, backings, nature, people, and things. That's where we go and get the assets. And if you click the help button, it brings you down here to the help. And here's some examples of uh, how you can do it. We're going to go through that in the video. Yay! Okay, so let's do it. Let's choose a backing. Here are the different types of backings. Ooh, how exciting. In outer space. So let's remake the picture that we had in the, in the front page there. So we'll choose a beach and you can either choose the checkbox here or click on the picture. And once you've chosen, you click save. That brings you back here and look at our code. It says now we can use the beach. And this is how we would do it. That's how we would access the caves, for instance, and do that. So you can copy that code or let's type it together here. Asset. And then we put in quotes the name of beach 01. And note that the numbers have zero in front. So 010203. And the reason for that is if there's lots of them, like lots of cities and it goes past the number 10, oh, it doesn't. What about deserts? Nature? Nature does, yeah. If we had, if we had nature one, nature two, nature three, and yet we've also got nature 10 and 11, how they would sort the order of these would be nature one, nature 10, nature 11, nature 12, 13, 14, 15, well, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, they'd be out of order. So we're starting with 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Okay, yay, so don't forget that. Now let's go back. So we've made our asset beach 0, 1, and then we want to center it on the stage. And let's see what it looks like. Test, there it is. If we made a spelling mistake or say we went and I want beach zero two. Ready? Here's what happens. Test. Oh, Zim test error. If you're using asset to load images, you must select the assets at the top buttons first. Don't forget that low numbers start with zero and see the help for help. So we've either made a spelling mistake here or we didn't choose beach two, which we didn't. It says we only have beach one. So we change that back to one and test, and there's our beach. Now, it doesn't fit quite on the stage. Do you see how the stage is larger? And if we didn't have the phone mode, it's as wide as the stage, but look, there's space at the sides that, that are at the top and the bottom that are not covered with the scene. So we can scale it, dot ska. We could make it twice as big. That's scaling the scene twice as big. Oh. But now I can't see some of the trees. It's filling, that's great, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's too big. For instance, if we added dot drag here, we don't want people to drag the scene, but we'll just do it now. You can see that we're missing part of it over here and part of it over there. But if you wanted to, you could scale it and then say, well, maybe I like that part as a background. And if that's the case, you could then dot move, M-O-V, the scene around so it's scaled twice as big and maybe I move it over a hundred but you'll just kind of be guessing maybe move it over 300. Oh it seems to be moving it this way maybe I have to move it minus 300. <laughs> there we go. Yay! There we go. So you see the moving it moving it a hundred was moving it to the right. We wanted to see this part so we needed to move the whole scene to the left. <laughs> Minus 300. Anyway, that's kind of a tricky way to do it. You don't have to do it that way. I'm going to show you the scale 2. So if we scale 2, uh, that will automatically scale it to the stage. So at the moment, it's automatically scaled to the stage. You see how it goes right up to the top? It's scaled to fit inside there. 
scaled to fit inside the stage, but it's not scaled to fill inside the stage. So what we want to do is say type colon fill like that, and that's the solution. We have to say the type parameter, and we're using the squiggly brackets so that we can get directly to the type parameter, is fill. And we have a special uh, fill, it's uppercase, F-I-L-L, -L, uppercase, and it doesn't have quotes around it. If you do quotes, then it's a lowercase fill. <laughs> but we made what's called a constant because we use fill all the time. And ready? Ta-da! Look at that. The scene has filled the whole stage. You could still move it over left and right a little bit, perhaps. But uh, maybe you like it like this. And as a matter of fact, I'm just fine. I like it like this. So that's the background. And you can read about the background down here in the help. We tell you about those things as well. And you see, there's the type fill. Okay, so let's put an object on there. How about uh, we'll choose a gem. I think we had to use a gem, which was found in nature. So I'm going to nature. Ooh. Ooh, don't you just want to put a cat in there instead? And there's a gem, all sorts of different types of gems. We'll choose this gem one. And we hit save and it comes back. And now we have backings of beach zero one and nature of gem zero one. So let's add that asset quote gem zero one. And we will dot center it. Dot center, yay! And save or control S and look, there's a gem. Why don't we drag it around? Dot drag. There it is. I don't know, a gem that was found on the beach. Woo! So we could locate that or position the gem. Why don't we make some mushrooms down here? I think our scene had some mushrooms, and I'll show you how do we compose the mushrooms. So mushrooms are also found in nature. So we scroll on down. Do -do 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 there they are. How about some blue mushrooms? Mushrooms zero two. Yay. And we hit save. Now it says we have gem and mushroom zero two there in nature. So we'll do the same kind of thing. We'll copy that line and paste it here. But I will double click that and copy control C, control V, or just type mushroom zero two in there. Now we've got both uh, the gem and the mushrooms. My mushrooms are a little bit big, uh, but uh, we can change that. How about we scale it? Dot ska. Um, 0.5. Half as big. 0.5 means half as big. We won't center it this time, and we're not even going to drag it, but instead we will pose it, position it. And pose lets you position things around the edges really easily. You can position anywhere, but around the edges is easy. I'll show you why. If we go 30, 30, um, that would pose the mushrooms up there, 30 pixels from the top and the left. But we want to pose the mushrooms at the right and at the bottom. So that goes right. There's another one of those constants that doesn't have quotes. Right, comma, bottom. Save, and yay, our mushrooms are there at the bottom, woohoo. Okay, so we've got some mushrooms, yay, that's super. All right, well, that's about all you need to know to be able to get the images on here, and then you can start using the coding that you learn all through here and all through here. You can learn, or you can do that coding inside our scene and make things happen. Uh, but we'll continue on with the video just a little bit because I would like to show you how to add a face. Oh, yeah, we forgot to add the face. So let's add a face, shall we? You ready? Um, well, where's the face? The face was under people. And here are the different faces. We'll choose this cartoon face right here, cartoon 02. But you've got other eyes and girls and mustaches. And <laughs> spacers. <laughs> okay, so I hit save. And now we've got under people, we've got the cartoon 02. So we'll uh, put that, why don't we put it up here by the gem. We'll say asset uh, cartoon 02 dot center. And we'll also put a dot drag on that. Now watch this. 
So do you see that? There's the beach. Here's the gem and the cartoon. And we hit save. Oh, a little bit big. Why don't we dot ska? Our magic number of half is big. <laughs> there we go. But watch what happens. I'm going to pick up the gem and move him around. Oh, oh no, the eyeballs. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait for me. And hang on, my body went on top. Anything we pick up and drag goes on top. And it's like, oh, there goes my body. Wait for my eyeballs. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, hello, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> Anyway, so that's not quite what we wanted. We wanted to be able to drag the gem and have the eyeballs go with it, of course. <laughs> so we can put both of these things into a container. Let's try. We will need to know the name of the container. So we'll go var. Hmm, why don't we call it gem is equal to a new container. Now, maybe you haven't seen a container before. But a container is this invisible thing. Well, we haven't added it to the stage, so we won't see it yet. But it's this invisible thing that can hold other things. Now, this asset of gem, we're going to just add to the container gem. We don't want to center it on the gem. And don't worry about it. We won't see it quite yet because we still haven't added the container to the stage. But we're just going to add the gem to the container. That will make the container as big as the gem. And then we're going to take our cartoon eyes and center them on the gem. There we go. We're not going to drag the individual parts inside the gem, and we're not going to drag the cartoon, but we're going to drag the whole container. So, great. We've got this container. We've made the, the gem and the cartoon get added to the container, but we still don't see it. Because now we're going to center the gem, gem.center, on the stage. Yay! So we didn't center the gem here, dot center, because it didn't, the gem doesn't know how big it is yet. We have to add the things to it, and then the gem will know how big it is, and we can center it. And we can also dot drag. So we would hope that that's good. We've got the, the gem centered, and are you ready? Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. What happened? We're still dragging the two parts individually. Wait for my body. Wait for my... <laughs> okay, so, huh, that's strange, isn't it? Well, that's done on purpose, and it's very handy. Imagine that you had 100 monsters. Well, you would put all those monsters in a container, and then say it's called monsters, and then you would say monsters.drag. And then any monster you picked up, you would drag. So that is very handy. And most of the time, that's what we want. We want to drag the things individually in the container. But this time, we don't want to do that. We really want to drag the whole container, drag all of the container. So there's a nice easy way to do that. We put in the squiggly brackets and we go to the all parameter and we say yes please drag all all true so now when we save that it drags everything everything in the container gets dragged and yay it's a happy jewel i'm happy 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 well i'm a gem actually <laughs> there's also jewels but but uh, we call this set a gem um isn't that great so uh there you go that's how we can put something in a container and drag the whole container or indeed animate the whole container now why don't we just quickly try and change a background see what happens let's put our gem and our mushroom in space and that's the last thing we'll do in this video or if you don't want to see how to do that you're welcome to stop the video you've got enough now you know how to make assets you can start your own scene but we'll just practice a little bit i'll go into backings here and there's beach. We don't really need beach anymore. So if you don't need it, you can uncheck it, un, uncheck, or you can clear. Clear would clear all of them though. I think it asks you, do you really want to clear all of them? Well, I can say yes. Uh, watch what happens if we clear beach and we save. Oh, error, because it doesn't know what beach is anymore. We didn't load beach anymore. So what I'm going to do, though, I don't want to load beach. I want to load space. Let's go down to some space here. Which one do you like? How about this one? Outer space, zero, one. Oh, there we go. 
outer space zero one. And then we hit save. It's still giving us an error because we only have outer space zero one. We didn't save it with beach. So we change that to outer space zero one. And now we test. Ah, oh, the mushrooms and the planet there. Our jewel is now in space. Look at it, look at the planet. It's like, oh, oh why am I not on earth anymore? I'm a space jewel, whoa. So there you go. I'm Dr. Abstract and from Dr. Abstract and Pragma, I hope that helps you make a scene in, in Zim with Zim Kids. Isn't that cool? One day we might add sound assets, but there'd be a lot of sounds. What sound does a gem make? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I've been making lots of sounds for it. <laughs> but you can find sounds on the internet and try and load sounds as well. And we show you how to load some sounds in here in the basics or in bugs. I can't remember where. I think there's a sound in the explosion, for instance. Okay. Have a great day. Woohoo. Ciao.